Hi, beautiful. How are you? I'm good. I love the color of your hair. The color of your hair fits your complexion perfectly. So it was a trend on TikTok that I saw to like match your hair to your skin or try. Yes. So that's what it's I tried beautiful to do. on you. Yes. That's like your hair color. Keep that <laughs> Thank in. you. I was telling my boyfriend it's like a black girl blonde. That's what they said. Yes. What's going on? Oh, I can see the comments. Um, I'm just nervous. I've never been on a live stream. Um, uh, my question is, um, uh, so this is like very public, but I guess I don't care. Like, I'm, I get successful men, I date successful men, and I was just like wondering, if someone provides everything for you, mm -hmm. how do you put, how do you like ask them for an allowance, access to the money, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm want the money in your account i don't know if that's a good question like if that's like a proper question no um, go ahead say you just ask your question my love just ask okay. it we'll go from there so I, I i'm just wondering like how to ask um like how, how to get, get an allowance is what i'm hearing how, how do you to get explain it to a man how do you explain it to a man who like thinks it's like paying you I need you to just get settled so I can talk to you. Like, yes, that's perfect. So what I'm hearing, Eliza, is you date a lot. You not only date, but you attract a lot of successful men. I'm assuming high value men, right? Mm -hmm. You're in a relationship with a high value man right now, right? And mm -hmm. he has the money, but it sounds like he's not generous. He may be rich, but not generous. Is that he what you're asking? In, um, in uh, certain ways. Mm-hmm. So you have to talk to me and not read the comments. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to work if you read the comments. Yeah. Okay, he's generous in his own way, um, like with gifts. Um, he doesn't really understand uh, the idea of an allowance. I try to explain it to him, like uh, just like teach him, explain that it's not like a horrible thing. And I'm wondering, like, what is a better way to like explain it, to put it into his perspective? That, hey, you buy me everything. Mm -hmm. You want to talk? Go ahead. Um, you buy me everything. You take care of everything for me as far as like my bills and whatnot. But I also want to like, I was trying to explain it to him because like I quit my job to be, because he didn't like that I worked. And I was like, so so what if I like worked and I was I didn't have all this time. So I was just wondering a better way to put it. So when you told him and he said he didn't want you to work, I would assume the conversation, the very next thing would have been, all right, babe, I want you to quit your job. And every week, since you have to leave your job, I'm going to give you a certain amount of money to make up for what you're not making. I didn't my, say that. And, un, okay. All right. Fair enough. Something else that comes to mind, um, Eliza, is, is you said you, you've dated successful men in the past, correct? Yeah. So then that would tell me that you know how to do, you know how to play the game. You know how to ask for yeah. money. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. He gives me money. It's just, I wanted um, a certain amount, like a, 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 um, um, a like more substantial amount, I guess. But I just wanted more. And how did you ask the men in the past, the successful men in the past that you were with? How did you um, get them? My, get ex, them my ex, he kind of just did it without asking. Okay. And that was the amount you wanted? Yeah, it was like, I mean, I, yeah, to me, I didn't even expect that much. Why are you nervous, I want to say, to just ask him, like, flat out, like, hey, babe, you know, I'm not working. I want, you I, know, 5000 a week, you know? I have, and he's literally like, um, that sounds like I'm paying you to be my girlfriend. That's literally what he said. Yeah. And I was just like, I was like, if you're at that level of understanding it, mm -hmm. then how do I explain it? It, it sounds like he already made up his mind. I mean, if I'm from the outside looking in, it sounds like, well, I'm not paying you to be my girlfriend. And even if I do have it, I'm not giving it to you. That's what that sounds like in a very nice way. Yeah, and to me, I, I mean, I, I tell him like, 
that's like a, a deal breaker, you know? Like, I mean, that's a huge deal breaker. I tell him like this concept of like, so my grandma told me that if someone gives you, if, if a man gives you a hundred and he has a hundred, and if a man gives mm-hmm. you a hundred and he has a hundred thousand, you go with the man that gave you a hundred and he had a hundred because he gave you his all. And I was, I was telling him that word for word and he just didn't get it. Like, I guess he just, you know, some people aren't like meant to be. But my question to you is when you quit your job, did you ask him, babe, what are you going to give me since you don't want me to work? And since this is something you want, want me to do before I quit, can I get X, Y, Z amount? Yeah, um, I said something along the lines of that, and um, I didn't say X, Y, Z amount, but I I was like, so I'm quitting my job, like, what else are we going to do? Because I had a goal. I got my job for a goal to raise money for something. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, so are you going to, like, and he's like, I'll, I'll just get you that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did, but, you know, now what? I just, I feel like, I feel like, do I like trick him? Like, I don't want to like, I could just, you know, do it in other ways, you know, just like be like, hey, my hair cost this much, but it really cost this much. I don't want to do that. I just was hoping that he would be the kind of man to, who understands that. Like, hey, like, I, you quit your job. Let me deposit this into your account. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I thought you guys would have had that conversation before you quit your job to kind of establish that. So then you're not like going into it like, oh, well, I thought it was going to be this way. And now you're telling me it's this way. Mm -hmm. And as a young woman, I still think it's important for you to still have some type of income coming in just in case he decides he doesn't want to do this anymore. That's my deal. Is like I want to have some type of income, like because that's what that was the case with my ex. It's like he didn't leave me like with nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it's just I don't know. He's just he's so negative about it. So that was my question, really. How old are you, Eliza? How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, you're still pretty young. Mm -hmm. So I think they're still learning to do, but if I could tell you anything. Hey, I I have a question, another question, if that's okay. Um, So do you think that having kids with a wealthy man, just to have them, just to get it out of the way is like a bad thing because they're really wealthy or you should, should you just wait because, you know, they're not the right person you feel. Because, like, I feel like the most important part of having a child is, Mm -hmm. for me, the financial of the father. Mm -hmm. If I I find a person who's very financially capable, but not great, but the most financially capable that I found that's serious, Mm -hmm. is that like... Well, you know what? I can't tell you what you should do with your life, right? I don't want to ever tell someone what to do with their life. But from the outside looking in, it can go both ways, Eliza. We have, we've have we seen girls on the internet who was married. For example, I don't know Chanel and DJ Mustard's full situation, but I know she's in court battling right now for um child support with mm-hmm. someone she was married to for 11 years who she was with before the fame, before he had money. And now he has moved his new girlfriend into the house they built together after holding him down for 11 years. I could be wrong about the story or how I'm telling it, but sometimes it doesn't always go the way that you think it will go. Did you see the whole Cindy and Pumpkin situation? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And you saw how that turned out. You yeah. Saw how that- out as well so let's pause the video and i want to show you who cindy and pumpkin is who eliza was talking about this is cindy who was with a very wealthy older man and she inspired a lot of young women to want to live a lavish lifestyle hey uh, tonight we're going on a date night so we're going to do an outfit of the night so my dress is from Bella Barnett. and then i have the shoes are red bottom my bag is from shein Chanel earrings, perfume is this, Tom Ford, Vita Peach, 
and this Lancome Beetle. I got one of my favorite Christian boots. Of course, Gucci socks. Page pants. Gucci belt with the snake logo. Louis shirt. Gucci jacket. Savage Dior. And that's it. Have a blessed evening. This is what I got after three months of relationship. So ladies, repeat after me. If he wanted to, he would. What did I say? If he wanted to, he would. Do not settle. 2023 Range Rover Sport, new body style. But things took a sad and horrible turn for Cindy and Pumpkin, which I was trying to explain to Eliza that everything is not what it seems to appear on social media. It seems after Cindy had the baby, Pumpkin just changed. Their whole relationship, the whole dynamic just took a turn. Right. And you're going to jail. Yeah, right. Because you're going to keep swilling and he's gonna go to prison and hurt oh, yeah, cause they buck he's in the military he, he lied fucking... to get more money and she lied to get the visa oh, yeah, right? she's married for oh, four yeah. years she lied to me didn't oh, even yeah. tell me show she was single had oh, no yeah. kids find out she's got a, a, a oh, nine year old oh, yeah. and she's married for four oh, years yeah. that's a fraud marriage oh yeah yep it's okay. a fraud marriage so oh yeah you're a fraud yeah right and you're going to jail yeah right because you're going to keep threatening what, what she's doing <laughs> right now is oh, full say which brings us back here. Having a baby with a man doesn't always guarantee that everything's going to work out and be perfect. And I don't know the ins and outs of Cindy's and Pumpkin's relationship, but you don't truly know a person until you are with them. If you don't marry someone you've, and you give them a kid, you've given them such a big thing without such a big thing. And so why are they going to do their part? You know? But Cindy was going through it on TikTok. She was at doctor's appointments by herself. Really? I think he took her car. You you didn't see? That's what I saw on I, just, I could be wrong. I don't know. I just saw the end, and mm -hmm. I saw that she's now, like, pretending to be good as a single mom, I guess. Okay. Then maybe she's happy. Again, we don't know the inner workings of someone's life. And mm -hmm. Eliza, I don't want you to base your choices off of social media. No matter what story I tell you, you cannot base it off of social media. And again, you can decide to have a child with this guy because he is wealthy, but you don't know what the other side looks like. It could go either way. Yeah, I don't really want children. So it's for me, it's such an easy choice to be like, okay, no. But at my age, of course, people are like, oh, duh, you don't want kids. This is so personal, but my best friend was just baby mama so hardcore. Mm -hmm like so hardcore, he went bankrupt to not pay stuff. I took, <laughs> I yeah, people, there's all sorts of like- yeah, There's all sorts of ways. They, they can put their businesses in another name. It could be their middle name and not their first name and say they got zero money in Ashley, but Ashley Dalton has millions of dollars. You don't, people can find ways, loopholes, especially if, they don't like you. I'm not saying that will be the case. I don't know. You get to decide, decide to make the decision, but you're young, Eliza. You're 22. The, the world's your oyster. The world is your oyster. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to travel and just be a single woman. But... Or you should be traveling with your guy now. If y'all in a relationship, that's what you should be focused on. Going to nice restaurants, traveling, going nice places. We do that, but I see like girls dating in Greece. What do you think about the girls that are like dating in Greece and, and you know, traveling and dating? Um, That's wonderful too. I don't think there's a right or wrong way of doing it. I really don't. But it won't look the same for you as it will me or the next person. It looks very different. And we don't see on social media the real behind the scenes when the cameras go off. We don't see that. No, we don't. Just like you could tell your friends and they're looking at you. Eliza always dates a wealthy guy. She quit her job. She's living a life. And look, Eliza, you're asking me a, a question on live right now. Your friends would never think, probably would never think you who's dating a wealthy man who quit her job, who has all the things would ever have a question. Just think about it like that in that perspective.
I mean, I'm very open about my problems. So this is a very, like, I'm very open about this. Mm -hmm. So I think that, and then I, I, I do, I do uh, join uh, lives on TikTok. That's where I found you. So um, the thing is with my allowance, with the allowance situation and whatever, um, it's, it's really just like, I'm trying to like do something great for myself. Well, most people would be happy with what I already have, but you know, I just, I want to do things the right way. You know, I just don't want to cheapen myself. And that's why I have these questions because um, I don't think that I have I don't think I know everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially about, I mean, any, I don't think I know. So I don't want to like, of course, get pregnant like mm -hmm. Cindy and become a baby mama. And then I don't want to like be single for the rest of my life and regret not having children. Mm -hmm. You know, I really don't know. I'm just doing what I think. Fair enough. And it sounds like you just want guidance. And I don't think there's anything wrong with you asking questions. Yeah. You know, I think that is commendable, but I will say, Eliza, you're at a sweet spot. You're 22, not 32, not 42. You could even find your person in another year. I'm saying you're still young enough. Uh -huh. You won't be single forever. You're a beautiful young woman. When I initially saw you, I was like, wow, she's gorgeous. Okay. And I feel like any race of men, okay, would date you. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I date a lot of guys, like my boyfriend, right? He's never mm -hmm. been so I date a lot of guys that have never been with a black woman. And I'm just like, when I feed them into the world, I'm like, oh, he likes black girls now. <laughs> yes, and let's not only hope that's like a fetter thing, you know? So no. let's make sure they're genuinely into you too, you know? I, like some people who come from some parts of the world mm -hmm. have this idea that's not really like what it is. Like black women is just like an person and some people some some black women I feel come off in a way where it's it's put they put themselves off and when you do that now he's like turned off to like the rest you know he's just it, it's not that the rest are like bad it's just like he doesn't even look anymore so well I think I, I think what you're trying to say is that certain cultures of men look at black women as a monolith that's what I'm hearing that we all yeah. operate, speak, and talk the same. Mm -hmm. We all come from different backgrounds. So I get what you're saying. Right. We are all the same. And I think that's an ignorant way of thinking for other coaches to think. Because we want they wouldn't want us to think that way about them, right? We come from all parts of the world, speak all different languages. So, But I understand what you're saying. I think you are still very young, Eliza. I think you are gorgeous. I think you're beautiful, but you need to work on your self-esteem. I don't think you should have any baby right now. No babies. Oh, no. no babies. Mm -mm. I was thinking, like, if I do, it's like 25, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, 25. Okay. But what you need to do is focus on you. You need to write out some goals tonight. What are the five things that will make me happy? Okay? Outside of traveling. Well, we'll put traveling. Outside of hair, makeup, being pretty and getting caught up in the TikTok and social media stuff, what are five things that will genuinely make me happy? Me happy, not a man, not my mother, not my dog. What, what are some things that will make me happy? Those are the things that I want you to think about, especially as a young Black woman. That's very important. I don't want you out here walking around like do 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 do, -do. Although we can look like do do do, -do, -do we don't want to walk around like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And okay. you seem very bright. You seem very smart. One last question. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you, you asking a lot of questions, Ms. Eliza. You ain't said one last super chat now. Okay, you draining the super chats dry. I don't I don't get on YouTube live. I just did this because you said on TikTok to get on here. So and I wanted to talk to you. Um are your glasses prescription? Or maybe, maybe not. Wow. Okay. I mean, Ask me in a one-on-one -on -one call. I'll answer all your questions there. Okay. okay. Get Bay Bay to sign you up for one. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Eliza. Bye, beautiful. Bye, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Eliza, young and beautiful.
a lot of lessons to be learned. I remember being young and a little naive. That's okay. Yes, young, 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 22. Oh, please get off of social media. It's not the real world. I promise you guys, it is not the real world. It's not. Cindy and Pumpkin, okay? That's not the real world. Cindy is a gorgeous girl too. And I, when I watched her TikToks, I said, I wish I could talk to her. I wish I could talk to a beautiful girl. Oh, <laughs> Eliza. Eliza, book a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Let's not be judgmental. Please, let's not be judgmental. And get off of social media and go into the real world, okay? If you want to see how mothers and babies are doing, go, go into the, the inner cities and go look at those mothers who are picking babies up and taking them on a two, five train or any train in your city, the ones carrying them on a bus. Okay, look at all of the girls who had babies by rappers. And the rappers do not want to pay child support. Okay, think about all the rappers and actors who do not want to pay child support and they have money from here to Wazoo. It is not always going to be the fairy tale ending that you think it will be. It's not as simple as, oh, I'm going to have this rich man's baby and that's it. No, you're going to have a baby and then think to yourself, I have to deal with this human being who's not the same human being that I met when we was in love, traveling the world, having sex, being intimate. He's not the same person. Now I got to deal with you for the next 18 years of my life. Honey, get a ring. Hello. Thank you, Ebony, for saying this. Let me put Ebony's chat up here. Ebony, get the ring and a nice prenup for you, okay? Hello, Ebony, and this is coming from a married woman. Get that ring. When you get that ring and that piece of paper that y'all say on the incident, you don't need a ring. You don't need a ring. It's a lie, okay? Just like you sit here and say, oh, you don't, do you say you don't need a degree? Do you say you don't need a match, master's or bachelor's? No. The same applies to the marriage certificate. So if he decides to go left, you decide to go right, all right? And you have it on a contract, a legal binding contract. Put that ring on your finger, then have the baby. In that order. All righty, I'm done preaching. Let's bring up the next person.